Potential. Some are apparently a hot season for scams, especially targeting folks who go to major events. So here with more is NBC senior consumer and investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn. Vicki, good morning. Hey, good morning. I think the true dare is you guys eating the food. Well, that's, that's true. <laughs> that's good point. Well played. Okay, let's start with one uh, big ticket item that's overseas yeah. right now. We've heard all about it. Taylor Swift continuing her European leg. So how are these Swifties getting scammed? Dollars in the UK alone, according to Lloyd's Bank. There. So it's not just Taylor. Swift, though, look, a lot of popular sold out events, you are at risk for scammers doing this. It typically starts when you go to a seller online, someone in doubt, till the day of the event. Wow. The other twist on this that I want you to be paying attention to is let's say I see Al says, you know what, I've got two tickets to the WNBA Indiana Fever. I can't go anymore. I'm like, Al, I can take those tickets. Then I don't get the tickets, and I realize it was never Al all along. Oh. It was someone who was pretending to be Al with an imposter account or someone who had hacked Al's account. So the way to a dollar and a ticket that may have already been used. That would, I mean, can you imagine you nightmare. travel overseas? Over we there. know some people who were in Paris. Uh, here's another big event that, that we hear about. It's, this one hits close to home. We're talking about the Olympics now. Uh, it's in a major tourist city, yes. and we're already hearing warnings about fraud what's happening in Paris so excited for Paris but don't fall for the scam that's going around right now the organizers just put a warning out Paris 2024 tickets or the official website which is tickets.paris2024.org only enter that URL do not go to any sponsored links do not e click on any links that are emailed to you if you're trying to get tickets there are only two ways to do it and it's completely electronic to buy sell or return you asking you to suddenly verify your payment information or enter some new banking information. If you get an email like that and you're concerned about your tickets, go directly to the app, go directly to the site and check on your profile. And then this is something really important. There's a new twist AARP is warning about when it comes to emergency scams. Because emergency people are going to be in Paris or they're going to be traveling oh. abroad, whatever it is. Suddenly, you get a frantic call, Dylan, from Cousin Ricky. Cousin Ricky's in jail. Cousin Ricky's been in an accident in Paris. He needs you to wire money. And you, being a good citizen, want to help him. You're caught up in the moment. If you're worried about a relative calling with an emergency, yeah. Hang up the phone, call back on the number you actually have for that relative, or call another loved one, too. a mutual contact, and say, too. is Cousin Ricky really in trouble, right. or is this... Cousin Ricky's <laughs> always in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then you just leave Cousin Ricky in the French jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't call me Cousin Ricky. <laughs> Sorry. The next one, I, I don't even see how this is possible. It, it affects college students. Yes. You know, with a summer job, how can you get scammed on that? Right. A lot of young graduates looking for their very first job, not familiar with the grad market. And the Federal Trade Commission just put out this warning saying, all right, young people, pay attention because these scammers are really sophisticated. They're going to use your college. They're going to use professors, official looking organizations mm -hmm. to email you or post on social media links to jobs. You're going to apply and it's going to be a really easy process. Suddenly you get through, you do an interview. Here's the first red flag. You never actually see anybody in person. Mm -hmm. The interviews are all done over WhatsApp or messaging apps oh. or FaceTime audio. Mm -hmm. And then you get a lucrative job offer right off the bat. You're going to be paid six figures. Maybe you can even work from home. This is not just targeting college grads, but it's also targeting post-pandemic people who are out of work looking for mm. jobs that are flexible, that they can mm -hmm. work from home. And then what? the, the next red flag, they're going to ask you to cash a check. We're sending uh, you a check. We need you to deposit this check and then send some of it, wire it to a third party to buy your laptop, to buy equipment oh, for that wow. job. Never wow. pay to work. And if you are looking to apply to any job, go officially to that company's website. Don't mm -hmm. click on any kinds of links that are sent to you via text or via email. Wow. Yeah. Man, there's so many scams out there. Scary. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Coming up, our summer style. We're back with our series Style File, Father's Day, next weekend. When? I'm, next so, week. I'm so proud of our pr producers because they have been leaning into Father's they Day. They have. Sure have been. Yeah. Yes. Wow. You said that about it. All right. Next Sunday, public service announcement. So, whether you're looking for a thoughtful gift or maybe the man in your life needs a bit of a style upgrade, <laughs> we've got you covered. Here to help, celebrity, and you love it when you're here. You're so fashion forward. Oh, I like, try. Rupert I try just for saw you. you. He said, that's wearing is, a jardigan. It's beautiful. Jardigan. No lapels. That's beautiful. That's nice. When Al started, yeah. let's get into it. Sure is. Didn't get into it here. Golf and tennis in full swing, pun intended. Uh, you maintain there's a way to elevate that same old collar. It actually. It's time to let that go. Okay. We, we, we need to take it up a notch. Okay. And we'll temperatures, it. temperatures starting to heat up. Uh, what's a nice, lightweight, trendy option? Uh, it's today.com slash shop. All right. Well, still ahead, we've got Grammy winner. Megan, good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
There's love your sweater. We've been bragging Thank on you. your sweater all morning. Uh, Talk about Timeless, the album. You put a lot of hard work into it. Oh, yeah. So just brag on it for a second. What are you most proud about? Uh, I'm most full, and I try to capture that in my big ballad called Timeless. But I also... Uh, of Riley there. He's <laughs> like, Barry... No, Barry yeah, I, I know Barry is... I'm like, that. stop it. Stop. Kill her. Yeah. Don't Got freeze time. Already. It, it, like, it happens fast. Yeah. So let's talk about this tour. <laughs> you need to. But People go fun. crazy for your content online. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I, I, it's, it's a nice place for me to be myself. Well, so yeah, the, the album's called Timeless. What what do you want people to come away from after listening this to this? I want every time you come here. Oh, I try. Megan, thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you so much. Thank you. And don't go anywhere, Megan, because okay. you are about to rock the plaza one more time with one more song, and then it's the big reveal.